how do you make your violins, violas or cellos sound 10,000 euros more expensive as it were with one very simple and practically free trick. And this is what you're going to learn in this video. Before we dive into this, let me just mention, as a violin maker, as a luthier, you probably spent lots of time optimizing the tonal qualities of your instruments, optimizing the tonal setup. Maybe you've spent hundreds of euros or dollars on different string sets and different chin rests and shoulder rests and tail pieces. Maybe you have spent thousands of euros uh, doing this. Well, majority of serious instrument makers did, I did. And this can be really frustrating. It can be really time consuming. And in this video, I want to share with you one trick which is commonly overlooked. And this is the trick about how you set up your sound post and how you dramatically improve the sound with just the sound post. And even not the sound post, but by changing the tools you are using to set the sound post inside your instruments. I'm Dimitri. I'm the author of the book on fine violin, making from the old master's legacy to the future of the craft. In the past 30 plus years, I've been specializing in crafting instruments for world-class musicians and also helping other instrument makers to achieve more success in their lives and attract the respect, recognition and revenue their talent deserves. Now let's dive into the meat of this video. You see, when you tonally set up your instruments, you fiddle with bridges and strings and sound posts and thickness of the sound post, the position of the sound post, the length of sound post, etc, etc, etc. And at the and normally, if you are like the majority of luthiers out there, you are utilizing a sound post setter, which you probably bought on eBay or some uh, fancy, more fancy uh, internet shop. Well, I've bought this at a professional shop. This was about 40, maybe 50 euros. This tool is pretty high quality. Now, the problem with this tool is that in order to set the sound post, you need to make an incision in the sound post and this is how you put it inside the instrument. Now the smaller the hole the better it is for the sound post. The bigger the hole the worse it is. Now this sound post has practically been assassinated. It has a, this massive a gaping hole in the middle. And why is this a problem? You see when sound post vibrates it basically transmits the energy the vibration from the top plate to the bottom plate and it has its feet and its head fixed between the plates so when it vibrates it dances a hula hoop dance as it were so it kind of <laughs> rotates in the center now if that sound post has a gaping hole where it should be the strongest well guess what it stops transmitting that vibrational energy in the most optimal way. And when I've discovered this, and I've discovered this dramatic impact on the tonal qualities of my instruments, I've spent entire month changing sound posts in all of my instruments and instruments of my clients and seeing this result again and again and again. Instruments improved dramatically. And this is when I decided why not to take this whole thing a step farther and insert some posts without any hole. And this is when I have designed and created this wonderful tool. So this is basically a brass tube. Inside the brass tube there is a fishing line. It's a very thin fishing line about 0 0.3 millimeters in thickness, maybe a tad thicker, but it's very thin. And it has a handle just like this with a hole in the middle. And the shape is split in two and there is this kind of nice round, um, filed round shape there so that the sound post fits in snugly. So when you make the sound post, you put it inside the fishing line, the loop, just like this. Then what you do is you pull the line and now the sound post is firmly held in the sound post setter. The diameter of this tube is just 3.5 millimeters. The thinner, the better, but not too thin. It's very strong. So this is the way you insert the sound post without any hole. The most healthy, most beautiful, most happy, most optimal sound post into your instrument. And this sound post is like on steroids. It's a, a spaceship, it's a rocket. It just transmits so much more vibrational energy from the top of your violin or your viola or cello to the bottom that it literally your instrument improves its tonal quality and it starts 
to sound as if it was 10,000 euros more expensive. And the cost of this tool, free. Well, this is how you can make your violins, violas or cellos sound 10,000 euros more expensive, practically for free. And totally optimize the sound of your instruments and make your customers, musicians happy. And if you are a musician, you can rush to a violin maker around the corner, share with them this video so they learn about this uh, trick and just help you to sound even better. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, do subscribe to my channel and click the lovely bell button so that you do not miss my future content and thank you very much for watching this video. By the way, if you are a violin maker and you're really passionate about your work, about helping instrument uh, musicians in your area, then do grab a copy of my best-selling book on fine violin making from the old master's legacy to the future of the craft with a forward by New York Times best-selling author. I will leave a link to the book's website somewhere below this video. By the way, the book comes together with bonuses worth 1,500 euros completely for free and you even do not have to buy the book first to get access to the bonuses. So go ahead to the book's website and grab the bonuses at least. And if you want to have your own signed by the author copy of the book on fine violin making, then well, order your copy of the book. It's just 24.97 and uh, save up to 30% and I will ship this book to your mailing address completely free of charge. And regardless whether you buy the book or you do not buy the book, you are getting access to all of those valuable, amazing books bonuses completely for free. You have absolutely nothing to lose and a lot value to gain in your workshop and in the lives of the customers that you want to serve. So that is it for now. Subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next video, the one that will be recommended to you by YouTube.